Hey everybody, welcome back to Hot News. This is obviously a little bit different because we're not posting on the UFD Tech channel because we can't because YouTube took us down for no good reason. Or maybe everything's resolved and you have no idea what I'm talking about because this is posted on the UFD Tech channel, in which case you watch this video right up here where we talk about this over on the Hot News channel that YouTube took down our channel for completely arbitrary and stupid reasons that shouldn't have actually happened, but we couldn't post for up to a week. Maybe it's resolved, who knows? Or maybe I'm taking long sips of hot cocoa for no good reason. Uh, well, there's a lot of no good reason to talk about today's hot news because I, I think a lot of it's not really very good. And that is the fact that there is a new report coming out of DigiTimes. Another report yet again that AMD is going to be delaying Zen 3. However, it's not necessarily just because they want to put it on 5 nanometers. But according to this DigiTimes report, it's because... Ryzen 3000 is selling so well that they just can't give it up, which seems like a really weak argument to me. But according to DigiTimes, the Ryzen 4000 CPUs won't come out till January, especially since there's no offering from Intel to actually compete with Zen 2 as it currently is. So why would they release Zen 3? This goes against numerous reports of AMD continuing to reaffirm that Zen 3 is launching on the desktop this year, even up to a week ago, AMD has been saying this. And at the very least, this report isn't as farcical where it's supposing that AMD is going to be switching to a 5 nanometer process for their chips. It's just saying that they're delaying their 7 nanometer EUV launch until early 2021 because people just can't stop buying their chips. And in case you missed yesterday's episode of Hot News, one, you can blame YouTube for that. You can check it out on Flowplane where we post all of our videos regardless of whether or not YouTube's trying to take things down. We talked about how the new upcoming Ryzen 3000 XT chips are supposed to be launching July 7th. However, that that still gives there plenty of time to come out with Ryzen 4000. I don't think it's going to be delayed. I wouldn't take too much stock in this rumor, so you can take that for what it's worth. But one thing that has been confirmed is that AMD is launching B550 today. June 16th, launch date of B550. Doesn't look like they're up yet over on Amazon, but they are indeed up on Newegg, and they should start releasing as of today. Do you have a B550 motherboard? Are you anticipating picking one up? Let me know down below in the comments. Can you hear what you think of B550? But let's get back to the XT chips, which haven't been confirmed by AMD yet. However, according to reports, the 3900 XT and the 3800 XT will not be shipping with stock coolers and that only the 3600 XT will, which kind of makes sense. They're higher end coolers with higher end clock speeds that perform a little bit faster. So don't include the parts. You sell them for a little bit higher price and you make more profit. Win win convince people that they're buying something that's absolutely worth buying and then don't include as much cost in it. Good idea by AMD. And it also seemed like a good idea to AMD to launch the Radeon Pro 5600M GPU. This got announced yesterday with up to eight gigabytes of HBM2. This is actually now going into the MacBook Pro 16 inch. It's a very uh, lively GPU up to 5.3 teraflops and with it being in the MacBook Pro 16 inch, which was an announcement by Apple, the now top end spec will cost you $7,000 in the MacBook Pro 16 inch if you get the Radeon Pro 5600. However, from what I'm gathering, the Radeon Pro 5600M performs ridiculously well, much better than the other offerings that were in the MacBook Pro. So this isn't such a big deal, but what is a big deal is being able to run Crisis without a cooler. And that's apparently what the upcoming Renoir Ryzen 3 4300U mobile processor can do. According to somebody over on Twitter, he ran the Ryzen 3 4300U without a cooler through some benchmarks that were happening as well as just a quick round of crisis. Yes, it can run crisis without a cooler. What are you gonna do about it? AMD coming in with some really, really cool tech. Ah, what's also cool is Hackintoshes. A lot of people like to build them because macOS does a few good things well. You got Logic Pro, you got you got a whole bunch of good reasons to use macOS sometimes. And it turns out that there's a new company that's coming in and selling Hackintoshes, which is against Apple's terms of service. Open Core Computers is now selling AMD powered Mac clones without Apple's approval. The pricing isn't too bad. 
As you can see here, it looks like a Lian Li TU-150 case with a new little swirl at the bottom just to kind of indicate what's going on. Well, not only are they not doing this with Apple's approval, they're not doing this with Open Computer's approval. The company behind Open Core Bootloader saying that our name shouldn't be on this. Part of the bootloader, but we're not part of this. So I don't know, or they don't know necessarily what's going on here. I would suspect that this company is gonna get shut down soon, get slapped with legal by Apple because you can't just be selling Hackintoshes. That's not what Apple wants you doing. You, they want you to buy the real Macintoshes. So do that instead. And maybe you should buy a PlayStation 5 if you weren't so gosh dang poor. Obviously that's a joke, but there's a new retailer coming out with the price of the PlayStation 5. And as you can see, $700 US is the expected price at playasia.com, which we can neither confirm nor deny. That seems a little excessive to me. I'm personally expecting $600 on the disc edition and $500 on the discless edition. If Sony comes in any lower than that, I think it would be a wonder in the wondering how much of a loss they're actually really making on these consoles. But I think take this one with the grain of salt, $700 is quite a hefty price to pay for this console. I would, I would, I would still buy one, but I would not get, I would not recommend that you get one. But regardless of whether or not people are going to buy it, they obviously really, really, really wanted to watch it with the PlayStation 5 event topping the charts on YouTube's live streaming. It wasn't the most watched gaming live stream of all time, according to this WCCF tech headline, but it was watched a lot. 7.2 million peak viewers outpacing the game awards and e Xbox's E3 briefing just just slaughtering everything that could have possibly happened everybody was really hyped for the playstation 5 and in case you're not you need a little bit more convincing somebody put out this video of gt7 versus gran turismo sport you can see them comparing the aston martins side by side with the new engine and boy howdy does the gt7 one look phenomenal i'm excited for the playstation 5 how about you you won't pick one up or are you going to pick up star wars squadrons for the pc because that got announced by ea yesterday but we also have the specs because it can support vr which is kind of cool for some dog fighting going down in space their minimum specs are a Ryzen 3 1300X with an HD 7850, so it can run on basically a potato. Recommended specs is Ryzen 3 3200G with an RX 480, and the recommended VR specs is a Ryzen 3 3200G or an i7 7700 with an RX 570 or a GTX 1070 equivalent. Seems like it's optimized for AMD if you're asking me. October 2nd can run VR, does look to be pretty good. EA did say that there's not going to be microtransactions, but I mean, if you make it DLC, then it's a macro transaction so and NZXT wants you to be making some macro transactions on their PC. At least if you live in Europe, they're announcing that their BLD build program is going to be taking place in Europe with their PC shipping out of Germany. You can check that out at the link in the video description, whether or not you want to pick up some pre-built NZXT goodness, which other people have done videos on. It does seem like NZXT is not really charging that much of a price premium to pre-build the stuff for you. So might be something worth considering. And it might be worth considering making sure that your monitor is color calibrated. Well, Asus with their Pro Art lineup wants to make sure that actually does happen. So they've partnered with Light Illusion to make sure that their color management is on point. And I personally think this new case, Montec Air X ARGB case, is pretty on point for a $75 to $80 case. You can take a look at it. It doesn't necessarily look too much different. This is Montec's first rollout in the United States. We'll leave a link in the video description in case you want to check one of these out. You can let us know how it is, or you can let me know if you're interested, and I could potentially check one of these out for you. Or I could check out one of these silicon. Power announces its first PCI Express 4.0 SSD with 5,000 megabyte per second reads, 4.4 thousand megabytes per second writes, just gorgeous looking PCI Express 4.0 drives. Silicon Power, known for making some very cheap uh, SSDs that you can find on Amazon, now making some good looking, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the look here, PCI Express 4.0 drives as well. But don't slap those into your Ice Lake system and then run IntelliJ, which is a Java programming language provided by JetBrains. Turns out that if you run that, regardless of how you run that, Ice Lake will crash on you. So yeah, don't use IntelliJ in Ice Lake. But Intel wants to make sure that you're going to be using their upcoming Tiger Lake so much so they want you to know that they're taking your security very seriously, even though they haven't in the past. They're now featuring on chip malware protections with their CET guard, their control flow enforcement technology, actually protecting from hijacking 
on the chip itself, which, you know, maybe they could have introduced something a little bit more like this to prevent Spectre meltdown. Obviously, it's not exactly the same as preventing malware, but, you know, a prioritization of security would have been nice ahead of time. And ahead of time seems to be the announcement of the upcoming Sony WH-1000XM4's wireless noise canceling headsets. They're considered to be one of the top tier and C headsets that you can pick up. Well, according to both Dell and Adorama, they posted the new unannounced headsets for $350 with a ship with a release date of June 24th and then promptly took them down found it out because of this Linus Tech Tips forum so are you interested in the XM4s let me know down below in the comments and are you interested in a game that's decades old at this point well now you can play Counter-Strike 1.6 in your browser you just come on over this website you play in your browser you connect with one of the the games that is around, it loads a few things up, and then bammy wham, you are in Counter-Strike 1.6 on your browser. This thing plays like absolute butt. It is not necessarily fun. I don't even know what my ping is. It looks like my ping is 1600, which is awful. I don't know what server I'm connected to. I've connected to several, and I have not found a playable or enjoyable experience in this game since I picked it up. I would much rather just play CSGO for free, but in case you want to play 1.6 in your browser, you want to try to get to a server that's not going to be located across the edge of the world, well, you can try it out. We'll leave a link in the video description for you to check out yourself. And check out the end of this episode of hot news because it this is yeah and oh it's my turn i'm alive now this is the end of this episode of hot news let me know what you thought of everything down below i'm going to play cs 1.6 i'm going to perform absolutely abysmally my ping is only 162 now that's not too bad apparently because i was dead my ping was a lot higher but yeah it doesn't oh there was a little hookup it performs kind of like butt so i can't actually see the screen because you guys are in front of my screen i have my camera right there so I can't even see my crosshair. Hopefully I don't. I got dead. Goodbye.